Hey guys, welcome to another Ryan Reacts. I know they say you shouldn't tell people what you did in prison, but uh, I think it's only fair that I tell you guys why I'm knee-deep in concrete. I, uh... I suggested that Hasbin Hotel should once in a while have one musical instead of two musicals in the same exact spot. <gasps> it's, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again, okay? It won't happen again. My life's in danger from even telling you that. TNT back here is about to literally explode and kill me if I even say one more word about this. I don't even know why they nicknamed him TNT. All he did was loiter. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Ryan Reacts. Today, folks, we are reacting to another episode of Has Been Hotel, episode six to be exact. We are down to the final three episodes of season three. I would say that this zoomed by, but weirdly, this has been the longest eight episodes it felt in my entire life. On this side, I'm crafting episodes. In the middle, I'm trying to get them unblocked by the crater. And on this side, I'm pushing back fans with a broomstick who are furious at my existence. <laughs> this series has exhausted me. And I have only done five episodes, technically four at this point, And I feel like I've been hit by a truck. <laughs> But of course, folks like chicken the original link, more for ritual content creator, you can find it on Amazon Prime. Okay, I have my warm weather clothes and my cold weather clothes. I have a light jacket, flat jacket, and rain jacket. Oh, Wait, got is that rain in heaven? Charlie, you're only going to heaven for a few hours. Maggie, we are only going to heaven for a day. There's a cat planet! Wait, 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 is this just a design or is there a cat planet that looks like Saturn? You can't just drop that on me when I've questioned about heck space. Oh God, I'm gonna ponder on this for months. And I just want to be prepared. It's our last chance to convince. Yeah, I don't. Soul can be redeemed. I don't blame you for yeah, bringing a bulletproof I vest. I could come, wait, sweetie, but I have that thing. What thing? The thing with the thing. Uh, Would a bulletproof vest God, work on angels? I'm such a bad liar. Vaggy. <laughs> Dump. <laughs> What happened to you? It's what are you doing in there? Me. And the answer, is there dirt? Everyone. Is that your house? Val had me working 16 hours straight on a fucking whim. The actual dick bag. Ugh. Oh, well, that was nice. Ah, His back was the dirtiest spot. What up, <laughs> oh, I forgot about you. Cherry bomb? Long time no see, baby. Seriously. You've been texting me a depressing shit all day. Figured we could take shit <laughs> off like old times. It's been fucking forever. Here, hold this. Ha, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I love seeing you, Jerry. But I'm too tired. I'm gonna oh, you can sleep when you're double dead, fuckhead. Come on, what you really need is a recharge, a, a reinvigoration, a re responsible night on the town. Good <laughs> idea. I. Charlie, that's my wall that you just blew up. It's so nice to meet one of Angel's friends. Oh, he I know everybody says, oh, God, I wish I could have sex with Angel Dust. Oh, man, what a hot, sassy girl that Cyclops is. But truly, nobody brings my penis to the battleground quite like Charlie. God, I love her so much! Oh, I want to marry her and then have sex with her! That's how much I love Charlie! I would wait! Unless she doesn't like dating guys that are mind of her dad, then I'm fucked. <laughs> Angel and everyone else have been working so hard. <laughs> what is- what How boring is your day? Yeah, hi everyone! If it consists of you looking at- <laughs> That's why I get it now. That's why he was watching her. Only here for end. Ooh, never mind. Let's go. Make sure they have the best time. You just have handfuls of money at all times? Wow. That looks like they're going straight to the My Little Pony show. <laughs> well, if it isn't my arch nemesis, how bad was the backside of that portal? It's just a butt. I'm going out with Angel and I gotta drag your sorry asses along. Oh! 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 Going out? How warm is that bubblegum? You sick 
monster. Can you imagine having bubble gum, not in your pocket where it's perfectly aside, but imagine, gentlemen, put your bubble gum under your ball sack. That's what that nasty bitch just did between her titties. You think they're just sitting there? They're not loose as a goose. No, no, they're tight in there. They're holding it like a baby holds his mother's hand. You're a sicko. I don't know what estate you live in, but I'm going to bomb it. This is a fictional character government. I'm not actually going to bomb anyone except a fictional character who likes bombs. It's a sign of courtesy. What do I do? What, what do I wear? Don't fucking touch me, Amunted dickhead. <laughs> she broke every finger? How did you do that? What kind of secret ninja hand techniques? Yep. Super cool. Heaven. Wow. <laughs> Hiya. I mean, it is kind of cool. You've got an Echo, but there's no reason for an Echo. Oh, uh, 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 Charlie Morningstar. Charlie Morningstar. Hmm. I'm not seeing you on my list here. That's so odd. Uh, uh, my dad got me this meeting, so maybe oh, dad. try okay. Lucifer Morningstar. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Am I right? Are you sure you're the right place? Because I think you might be a little lost. Uh, here we go. So are we just gonna like confirm that it's okay to swear in heaven in this one? Are we just are we just gonna nail that down as canon, right? Cause like not how Adam, but also Peter. <laughs> I'm just gonna name him Peter, cause I don't know. Who freaks me the heck out because his eyebrows are on top of his hair. I can't unsee it. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why have I said that sentence? Because now I see she's got her eyeballs in front of her hair. <clears throat> well, great. I'm dead. No, uh, we're, we're here for a meeting. St. Peter. Oh, hey, I was right. Greetings. No, 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 no. What was that? What was that? What was that? What did she just turn into? What was that? No. What kind of bird was that? I'm asking for a friend. It's this friend. Cause if it's an owl, he's gonna go through the window. The two things I know Vivi loves, it's birds and hearts and gays. Maybe. <laughs> she did send them all to hell, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe she actually, secretly. I am Sarah, the high Sarah from heaven. You're gifted to be here. Hi. Oh, I'm wow, Ellie, thanks. The other Seraphim, though you can call me M. Is that, is that the same voice actor? Because it's freaking want. me out. I go by whatever. <laughs> Welcome to heaven. It would be interesting because, like, if they're, like, kind of the same. Oh. Oh, we're singing, huh? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would like to uh, take this opportunity to actually apologize to the furry community. <laughs> I was wrong. As it turns out that both places are filled to the brim with furries. Ah, man, I really got egg on my face right now saying all furries went to hell. Whoo, man, I was wrong. What happens if somebody from a different animal species has sex with another animal species? Is that how Ethernial AIDS came in? Probably. Don't have sex with monkeys, guys. People are happy that they died Cause we got no worries, got no burden. Brother, I agree. I wish I was dead right now, too. Oh, wow, we're having so much fun right here. Oh. That's to be fair. Brimstone might light the place on fire. I've seen... I've seen how quick the fire start.
I actually disagree because the song. Oh, jeez. Wait. Fucking shit balls. Am I seeing who I? You were wearing a mask. Is she doing here? How did she even get up here? How did she walk like that? Doing here. Wow, I'm having such a great time. Also, I would like to applause. <laughs> applause break. Applause. My God. It was a song at the start of the video. It's like they knew I complained on episode five that they put the songs in the exact same spot for every single episode. And then, and then they did this episode. My God, you visionary Vivi. If there's three songs in this stinking episode and they're still in the same spot, you just added one, I'm gonna scream. I'm handling this shit right now. Wait. You want to start a fight on the promenade in front of everyone? Better than waiting for the fucking extermination. Shh, sir. What was the Seraphim's one rule? Uh, no one but the exorcist can know about the exterminations. I know, fine. Ooh. Don't fucking shush me, bitch. You should listen to your lieutenant, Adam. Fuck, Seraphim. Oh. Don't sneak up on a guy like that. Please. <laughs> your Highness, forgive me, but what are the Hellspawn doing here? Well, you failed to control the demon's unrest, and now Lucifer is involved, setting up an audience for his misguided daughter. But you I think Lucifer would have said something with all the death and murder and stuff you've been doing? To our doorstep. Keeping heaven safe was my only reason for allowing it. What do you want from me? I'm just one guy. I want you to do whatever you need to do to keep this problem from getting any worse. Are we clear? <sighs> yeah, got it. Okay, I love heaven. Baggy demon. Even she's sick of him. Sprinkles made of rainbows. Those are just rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> they were made of rainbow? Was it in the ingredients? But hug a koala for me. OMG, can you imagine an actual koala? I love how there's no koalas in hell. Charlie will be back soon. I'd be mad, but Vagisaurus is a great name. That is going to be my next Xbox Live username. Can someone do me a favor? Just a little favor. Um, can somebody go back through every episode of Has Been and Hell of a Boss and see if there's any koalas? If there is one koala character, I need to know. <laughs> it's really, really stupid, and I don't want to look myself. <laughs> but if there is, that means that joke's a dirty, stinky lie. And I'll be mildly annoyed by it. Uh, I'm not looking for the blonde, babe. I'm looking for you. I want to know what's the Maybe deal with her face, by the, the way. Band. You tried for a solo career. Or I guess it's more of a duet. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you really <laughs> I saw when you guys sang together. recognize one of my top girls just because you're at a uniform? You were on oh. the front lines. I wouldn't forget a bad bitch like you. Oh, so it so is a mask then. You after the best thing ever. Ah! Actually, Thank you. it's pronounced Vaggy. Mm, <laughs> no. <laughs> no! God, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my God. I've said that exact line. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I mispronounced the name in a game or a show, and I just didn't care because they're made up words. And people get so mad, and that's the exact response I give them. I remember when I played Little Nightmares, I named the main character Blimby for fun, and people got mad at me because that's not the canon name. My response was, mm, no. You know how one person has an angel and a demon on their shoulder? Mine's Adam and Lucifer. <laughs> Oh! Whoa! Like you has no place in heaven. Holy smoke! To think someone as worthless as you landed Lilith's little hottie. Grats on that, I guess. Vile <laughs> and blasphemous. Charlie saw you with your eyeball hanging out and went, oh, she's kind of hot. Are actually one of us. Hmm. 
What do you want? Simple. You work for me again, and at the hearing, you're gonna help me shut this kindergarten snowflake bullshit down for good. Never. Oh, yeah. You know, that's totally cool. I guess I'll just tell little Miss Butterflies and Rainbows that she's been fucking someone who's killed thousands of her people. Ooh. I'm sure your relationship will be fine. See you in court. I mean, I probably will. It's really hard to... Hey, look. Biblically uh, accurate angel. I know you. to my manager low blow Karen we are gathered here today to determine whether or not a soul in hell can be redeemed into kind of the heavenly move. realm by means of this has been hotel Prince's Morningstar <sighs> thank you Sarah is that a seat or a car did you make like a car bed out of her Webster's dictionary defines redemption as objection lame and unoriginal sustain <laughs> no further dictionary references please I'm proud of you Charlie you did what your mom was incapable of doing reading a mother effing book show it already we have a patron right now who is making incredible progress who angel dust oh yeah the porn demon he's totally worth being redeemed <laughs> Well, if you know so much, what do you think it takes to He's get- He's got a valid point. He literally uh, just did like a 16 hour porn set. Uh, well, uh... Is everything okay, Adam? Give me a fucking minute, okay? <laughs> Go look in the dictionary. Act okay. selfless, don't steal, stick it to the man. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure got me here, didn't it? <laughs> right, Sarah? He was the first human soul in heaven. Well, I bet Angel is doing all of well, those things. Well, he was the right only now. one there. Let's fucking see it. Who cares? It's because he died first. Honors, Doesn't mean. Let's eat. This guy at the boot. <laughs> oh wow! Look at the like wiggle. The I'll admit, consent is a good name for a sex club. Panic, 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 panic. I'm panicking because there's a heart in the background and the conspiracy theory will never die. And I will find out what the heart mean. What does the heart mean? 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 The heart mean? <gasps> oh my God. Jet engines don't melt steel beams, but love does. <laughs> Nifty, dear. What are you doing? I'm sweeping. Oh, look how icky it is in here. That's because we're at a club, dear. Oh, I thought the hotel looked different. <laughs> Miss Bomb, I, I'd like to buy you a drink. Why? Didn't you say we're arch rivals? Uh, um, uh, because I'm buying everyone a drink. Hooray! Can that dog in the back breathe? I need a drink after today. You know, Val, he's into this waterboarding shit now. Hear me out. Um, Bomb them. Cool. All right. I, I don't know. It's a kink. Angel, enough with the Val talk. He already ruined your whole day. Don't let him ruin your night. Yeah, party like party bug back here. You won't be worrying about nothing. Oh my god, it was drugs. It was just drugs. I thought Party Bug was coming for me. I ain't the one trying to get into heaven. Look, you want to fuck up all your progress? Be my guest. I just. Are we? I just thought you were better than that. <laughs> He's giving him the don't do drugs talk. It's been too long. I, uh, I don't know. It's been a long night, and I don't need to go too wild. Hmm. When you when you get a don't do drugs kids from hell. A little R and R and some THC or maybe PCP with DMT. Let's see where the night takes. That's a beautiful I'm trying face. Come on, do the drugs so we can do a song about it. That's the whole reason she wants you to do drugs. Hooray. So wait. Heavenly people, what more do you need to see? The porn star chose a night of debauchery. That's not a soul worthy of being in heaven. Um, objection. 
Are you really telling me you've never had a drink with friends at the end of a hard day? Uh, we don't have hard days. It's fucking heaven, bitch. You seriously gonna sit there and pretend like this behavior is okay? What do you think? I, I... Like, I get that, like, Jesus made water into wine, but also he was like, yeah, just don't get drunk. You can drink some. Just don't get plastered. Like, drink responsibly. But uh, the one thing that everyone doing there is not drinking responsibly. I have to go to the bathroom. What? Maggie, can you hold it? <laughs> Angel will make good decisions. Come on, we have to keep watching. Please. By the way, brave move to have him, like, him a, a week in. You're like... We're using him as an example. Well, the court will allow it. Fuck yes! I mean, <laughs> thank you. What? What? Why were you upset about that? It's fucking heaven, bitch. What? This guy, they all say, was it? So it, for the, for the, for the, Fluby. 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 Round 12, motherfucker! Go ahead, do it. I know. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a drug and the music's gonna play. I can smell it. I can smell it like the cocaine I put in my system. Everything's spinning. Yeah, to be fair, she could drink, well, I think, one alcohol and she's gonna be dead. <laughs> she's stealing liquid! Sorry, fellas. You gotta get her credit. That is impressive. Well, at least Val pays him good. <laughs> what? It's true! Look! Look, she ain't used to this scene. I, I just don't want her to end up in the gutter like I used to. Whatever, Aww. nerd. Just catch up when you're done. She's hot. <laughs> talk about her. Put it on the screen right, otherwise it sounds wrong. Why are you being such a mess? <laughs> it's a mess? No! Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, you're going to get dehydrated and the alcohol is going to be worse. You want to play with the kitty? 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 Yeah. What the fuck is this? Oh, of course. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> You're a bartender. How are you not used to this by now? Hey, Stu. I see the club has a sex room. <laughs> I was thinking maybe you'd want to um do He has a heart on the The word that I can't say because that word is very bad means queen of hearts. <laughs> There's hearts on the wall too, by the way, which makes sense. That's a that's a de decoration, uh, but everyone's got a heart cutie mark, which is bugging me very much. Okay, let's continue. Way sex with me. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Why would we have sex? I mean, yeah, why? Um, because I'm having sex with everyone. <laughs> 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 no, oh no, he wasn't ready for this. No, we can do this fucking shit every fucking night. You don't have to spend all your off hours working on yourself, you little bitch. Hey guys, uh, this place is called the Consent. Can we please stop? Valentino. Exactly. So why don't you know Valentino? Yeah, I'm here all the time. They know me. Wait, so you're telling me he was in the room this entire time while you were screaming and he never noticed? Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, yeah, a star. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Uh-oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hot people. I mean Holy shit, Angel Dust. What are you doing here, baby? You didn't get enough dick today. Funny. Who's this chiquita? You're bringing me fresh meat. Oi! I just want a taste. Ah, weird. <laughs> There's a kink for that, I'm sure. Fuck off. You 
waterboarded him for a kink and biting seemed weird to you biting one of the most common kinks in the world that confused you i think the next episode is gonna be like feet you like feet seems a little weird but i'm not gonna judge right now i'm gonna judge you in 20 minutes when i get on to reddit actually <laughs> this isn't good i'm uncomfortable i'm scared he wanted to have sex with a child if you didn't hate valentino anymore <laughs> actually i have no idea if she's actually short or a child so i got curious and i looked it up she's 22 so it is a case of tiny creature looks way younger than actually is because she's short excuse me i said uh -oh. fuck off <gasps> i may have to put <gasps> with your bullshit but you ain't fucking with any of my friends you oh! who you're talking to i own you bitch <clears throat> yeah you do in the studio and you can do anything you want to me there, just like our deal says. You just but can't here, in the consent. I get to do what I want. So once again, fuck off. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your night, bitch. Oh. Enjoy making you pay for it tomorrow. Fuck it, dickhead. Fuck it. It was worth it. Way to go, kid. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's attached. Did you just call these cunts your friends? Well, that was my job. There's room for everyone. I mean, you could still bomb him if you wanted. I think everyone in the community would be quite happy with you sticking a bomb down his throat. Oh, sorry, not next time. <laughs> See? He did everything on your checklist. He was selfless. He stopped Nifty from stealing, and he stuck it to that Mothman. Wait, uh, didn't she steal the fuzz? No, uh, <laughs> she still then. stole. Yeah. But he was a dick. Why Are we going for Dude, it's so good to see Angel Dust get his spine back. Man, that was such a satisfying scene. Though it's also a really dark and depressing scene because you realize that like he stood up to him now but like it's going to just get worse when he has to go to his job which makes this like even more of a like a sinking heart moment. Oh wow. I really wish Cherry Bomb just stuck a bomb in his asshole and then he blew up from the ass up. Or I want him to walk into one of those giant bug zappers. <laughs> him just being like bitch what you... Oh. Hey, baby. <laughs> you, you, you talking to me like that? You, you gonna... You know, okay. I, you know, I guess I could... <laughs> and then the crowd goes wild! None of you know what gets someone into heaven? This questioning Ooh. stops now. We know when a soul arrives. We know when they pass divine judgment, it is our job to ensure these souls are safe. But she was right, Sarah. She showed us a soul can improve. He saw the light, Sarah. Checked all the boxes that you said would prove a person deserves. That is Charlie's voice, right? Now we turn our backs, no second glance. It's not as simple as you think. Not everything. <laughs> sorry sorry i just got i just got one i just got one thing i, just, I, I got it it's crazy i'm gonna show you a little something here it's spelled in ink <laughs> it's actually it's actually a lot of ink actually that's kind of crazy also there's a weird part of this where why don't they have what he did as a human you know what i mean like they're showing what he's doing now but it doesn't show what got him there in the first place. You know what I mean? You would think they'd be like, here's the list for Angel Dust. Stabbed a hooker. That's pretty bad. He called Jews what? 
Yikes! That's a, that's a doozy. Oh my god, he was a Neo? Fan from the Matrix? Oh! <laughs> Sarah! Careful, Charlie, keep a cool head. No, don't you oh, care, you. Don't, Sarah! You don't sing talk. That just because someone is dead. I like how you showed how cool his Tommy gun was. But there's a lot that you don't know. What are we even talking about? Some crack or who fucked up already? He blew his shot like the cocks in his mouth. This discussion is senseless. So you got mad at fuck, but you can't be mad at everything that just came out of her mouth? I mean, if that's the case, why is nobody bringing out what he did? What did he do? Wait, shit. What are you saying? Let me get this straight. You go down there and kill those poor You didn't know. Yes, the cat's out of the Oh. So tell me that you didn't know. I thought since I'm older, it's my load to shoulder. No. You have to listen. It was such a hard decision. I wanted to save you. The anguish it takes to do what was required. <laughs> Such a good shot. Oh, 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 what's that? Ah, some goosebumps. That's what. Also, I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite songs they've done so far. I actually quite enjoy this one. This one uh, actually has me quite in, which is kind of crazy. Everyone told me episode four and five was when the music was really good. I'm surprised that this is the song that I like the most. That I admired you well. I don't need your kind Yes! Let's go! That's right. Feel that violent hatred for birds like me. Really should have saw his comments. See, she looks exactly like them with the skin color. But <laughs> what it happened again? <laughs> it happened again. <laughs> Holy shit! The face. <laughs> That's too funny. Unintentional funny will always be very funny for me. That one got me pretty bad. There's something about like the that sound effect they made in her face was a little too cartoony and funny that when she realized that <laughs> That was even worse than when Angel Dust had the Oh, that sound effect. It was the combination that cocktail got me bad. Ah, I just realized. Charlie has to do exactly what she's been preaching to someone who's truly vile, who has killed many innocent people. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. But this court finds that there is no evidence souls in hell can be redeemed. Oh, fuck yes! I win! Suck it, bitches! Ooh. You better save the date, cunts, because we're coming to your hotel first. What? No, no, you 
That wasn't called for, Adam. Yeah, but did you see the looks on their fucking faces? It was... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you're also right in front of all your peers. Now they know, you idiot. Extermination of human souls. Demon or not, there is no reason to be doing this. They were uprising, Emily. It is my position as the head seraphim to protect our people at all costs. And it's your position to keep them happy and joyful. How can I bring joy when I now know we are bringing misery to thousands of innocent people? Heaven needs us, Emily. Everyone looks to us. And we can't doubt ourselves or worry about the fates of demons when we have our own souls to protect. Please. If you start to question, you could end up like Lucifer. Fallen. I couldn't bear to see you suffer that fate. So please, let me worry about this. Okay? I'm sorry. Why don't you just go ask God? No one? No one wants to do that? Nobody has... Nobody can go... Hey! Hey, bud! Hey, buddy! Can you come here for a second? We, we got this little pickly pickle here. Oh, what's going on? Uh, here's what's going on. And uh, you are God, so you know literally everything and every bit of knowledge. So what's the answer? Uh, oh, thanks, man. I guess we'll go do that. Why not do that? <laughs> Why are you not doing that? Also, I'm so happy. This is this is exactly what I wanted from the story. I wanted this this gray area where it's not one bad guy and one good guy, like one side. I mean, obviously Adam's pure evil, right? But the as far as factions go, it's not e evil one, and it's this gray area like most war stories are. It makes it so much more interesting, and I'm loving it so much. Oh man, this is great. This this is a great episode. <laughs> oh, uh, turns out I was at the end of the episode. I literally had three seconds left. Okay. Wow. What an episode. Legitimately, this is one of my absolute favorite episodes they've done. This one was really good. By George, I even liked the musicals. I mean, I still had the gripe of I don't like musical talk. But as far as the song goes, this was one of my favorite. And it had me sucked in like that look in her eyes the fire yeah she very much likes murdering she's very much into it she may be a gray character but she's very much somebody who sh there's a dark side down her heart oh good stuff also i really did not expect maggie to be an angel that's a good twist which is hilarious because that means that she's just like her mother <laughs> She's got that angel lust in her heart. That's why she was just like, oh, when she first saw him. Just like old Lilith. <laughs> but now I'm really curious. There's two more episodes. And with this information, how are things going to change? Is Charlie going to be able to do what she's been pr uh, preaching this whole time? Being able to actually forgive someone who murdered thousands of your people. Which is so good! What a great story. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's a great little crinkle in the story just before the war happens. And may I say, Adam is such a good prick. Oh my gosh. He's not as bad as Valentino, but boy, oh boy. It's a different kind of hate. It's a totally different kind of hate. He's that narcissistic douchebag. Oh, it's so easily despisable with his girlfriend too. Which, by the way, I've that's that's a good touch too. Because I've met someone who's douchebag. And then even worse, they have someone who's in love with them who's equally a douchebag. He's such a good villain. He's a good villain. But speaking of Valentino... Ooh, that stuff with Angel Dust, that side story, which was a great side story, because unlike with some side stories, it's like completely disconnected from the other story, and it almost seems like filler. This perfectly melds in the side story with the main story in a masterful way. Very good job on that one. And also, it's great to see Angel Dust stick up for himself in front of him. Um, though, like I said in the episode, it's also equally as depressing knowing that he has to go back and it'll be even worse. Also, poor Nefarious. I mean, <laughs> he just wanted to get to know Cherry Bomb. The, uh... <laughs> the poor joke for Nefarious. Where he 
Netflix? I'm going to have sex with everyone. Just remember, if you laughed at that, you're not allowed to say rape jokes aren't funny. They literally named the bar consent just for that joke. Though there is a flip side. You could literally just say, yeah, but when they got in, he said no. And they went, cool, man. (laughs) There's no proof that one or the other happened. So, but satisfying stories all around. Two good stories. Nothing felt like filler. Interesting plot developments with Vaggy. (gasps) Oh my gosh. I've just realized something. Remember I said about Vaggy's mom? Well, if she's a demon, that means it can't be her mom. But she looks exactly like her. And not only does she look exactly like her, she's the only one that can kill the demons and the only one that can kill the angels. She has to be an angel also. Oh my gosh. I will be shocked if Carmine is not an angel. Also, it's a bit of a shame that uh, they decide to make Charlie just in love with her automatically. Like that whole love at first sight bullshit instead of having an opportunity to see her defend a small creature and then get her eye stabbed out so she falls in love with her because she saved somebody because that's like what charlie is in love with like that's her whole entire like uh mission so uh it's uh it's a weird i i feel like it's a little missed opportunity to have that because i i I don't know i'm not a big fan of the whole just i looked at you when your eye was missing went ooh, ooh. (laughs) instead of seeing an action that would make you fall in love with her uh, instead, which I think would have been more powerful. But that's a tiny nitpick, and this was a very good episode. I'm curious how people thought about Cherry Bomb in this episode, by the way, because Cherry Bomb was a really kind of one of the more important characters in the pilot, or especially ones that people liked, Uh, and to have her just kind of exist as a bad influence kind of very similar as like that chunky little lady from the last episode it's kind of weird that that's where they went with her instead of making her more important than she is like they made nefarious from the pilot episode way more important than he was uh but her kind of just felt like they existed just so she could give her drugs also good job on you for not making a song about drugs (laughs) bravo Bravo. Also, speaking on the musical, I forgot to mention this. I think because the first song is so short, it doesn't feel like it overstated its welcome. For me, a lot of times with the musicals is that I would rather have one long song than two medium songs. There's something about it that just feels like it's a little too much for me. And I think that's where it would be a perfect middle. Cause I've actually heard people outside the bubble of this reaction say they didn't like how many songs were in the episodes. It was just getting too much. And I really just feel like if they had an episode where it was just one instead of two, or like this episode, a short song that really just kind of built, set something up instead of just having everything. Because I think people forget when they say the show's a musical that this show is part musical. There's more dialogue, story, and jokes than there are songs. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to subscribe, like down below, and write a comment, folks. Because, yes, I shall be reading your comments at the end of the video, which is going to happen right now finish each other's sentences wow i'm really good i can't believe we did that man i got you pass ryan don't worry so i'll start off the comment reading with uh reading probably the most common of the comments which is about either taking off the songs or keeping them and surprisingly unanimously everybody said keep the reactions to the songs in so that is exactly what we will do i mean it makes sense i'm pretty sure everybody left at episode three because i consistently still get comments telling me how much of a doofus i am and a menace to society i don't have a counterpoint but uh it still hurt my feelings but thank you everybody i really do appreciate it there's a lot of really nice comments talking about how much you guys did actually like the reactions you know it gets kind of hard to tell what's hitting and what's not when most of the time the people who feel the need to comment are the ones that are angry usually if you enjoy something like myself because i watch plenty of youtube videos you just watch you go wow that was great and then you move on to the next one sure you love the video but you don't feel the need to comment like how if you're angry and you want your opinion to be heard you go in the comments i'm not even mad about half the comments too people have been really polite about telling me to fuck off (laughs) 
<laughs> also, on top of that, it's the lines that I did not expect to piss anyone off. I uh, in one of the episodes, I called the songs the hokey pokey, and I thought that was like just a silly little line that wouldn't offend anybody. I was wrong. <laughs> Just said it because it was a funny word. I didn't expect that to be the breaking point. <laughs> Fun fact about Mimsy. The introduction in the song with It's Me is an inside joke for the fans. Mimsy's character has been in development long before even the pilot. And longtime fans were wondering when she'd show up. So it's kind of a troll, I guess. This is the information I love. This is the little bits of information that are just mwah. And also to have her be the long-awaited character. It's just a tiny little gremlin woman. <laughs> that you will not ship with me. I read the comments. Smarty. I even remember who it was. You're a menace. I am Hobo Ryan X Charlie. And after that, it's Hobo Ryan X Lucifer's backflipping duck. And then maybe Mimsy, but I will never agree to it. But thank you for that comment. That's actually hilarious bits of knowledge. That makes that joke so much funnier than it actually is. Oh, the other thing that I got a little mixed up with. I got a little confused and thought Lucifer was the owner of pride. But no, Lucifer is the top dog of hell. So Satan actually rules the wrath ring. Apparently. I'm saying this with zero knowledge of the show, by the way. If it was explained in the show, I either missed it, but let's be fully honest with ourselves. There is a, like, 99% chance that she said it on a stream because this character has not shown up. But that's not really important if it is or isn't. At least now I know Lucifer is not, like, one of the seven deadly owners, but the owner of hell itself. And lastly, I want to talk about a theory comment that came up. I really want to talk about, I don't know how this is going to go because I feel a certain way about this comment, but I could feel it could be very divisive. But here we go. There's a lot of headcanon that I agree with about Lucifer being autistic. I'm going to read the rest of the comment for sure because they do explain why they believe this. But I have to mention that that is by far one of the funniest things I could have ever thought of. Not because of autism, but the, the idea that Phoebe decided to make the ruler of hell who owns everything that started all of this, she gave him autism. <laughs> which also then kind of makes it weird because then it means that uh angels can have like brain problems like humans which is weird because if they're perfect beings how did they get there but then someone mentioned this in my comments that <laughs> there's a chance that instead of god cutting his arms and legs off they gave him autism <laughs> Which is so stupid. <laughs> Once again, I have to implore you that I am not laughing at autistic people or autism in general. But from a writing standpoint, it is hilarious. I will mention, though, there is problems with making characters like this uh, on a spectrum or certain like things. But I'll, I'll read the comment for finish the comment before I talk about it. Special interests in ducks, socially awkward, and doesn't pick up on social cues, doesn't understand very complex things, and doesn't like physical interactions with people who aren't family. You could also see him fidgeting and stim when he's nervous. Just something I noticed and I very much relate to as an autistic person. So, first thing I want to say is there is nothing wrong being able to connect with a character who is very similar. I think there's nothing wrong. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having a headcanon with this. If you believe that, that's cool. If you can connect with a character, that is, that's perfectly fine. I've got no problem with that. There are things that I kind of disagree with, such as, like, doesn't like physical interactions with people who aren't his family. Because, let's be honest, it's hell and nobody's really trustworthy. And let's be honest with ourselves. Charlie's entire group of friends 
is an immense red flag. All of them. Each one is a giant red flag. Grumpy cat that could probably scratch him. A perverted Spider-Man that just keeps freaking making sexual jokes and gets in your business. The tiny gremlin thing. I don't need to say anything else. Alistair. I kind of uh, disagree with that sentiment. I think uh, that one is just him having a good sense of character. Because you know what? I too wouldn't trust anyone in that area. But I was going to say one of the problems I feel by making this character autistic, I think it would be a mistake to make him canon that. Because if you do that, all of his wacky shenanigans or antics and things he say is now because because he's autistic and when you do that then when you laugh at it it gives you that weird feeling of laughing at someone with autism for instance you give a character like patrick from spongebob or ed from ed and eddie if you put them on the spectrum all their dumb jokes are now ruined because now you're laughing at somebody on the spectrum see what i mean it kind of makes things a little awkward from a comedy standpoint. So I don't think it's actually a good idea. Because like when I bring that up, that means if you have him be autistic and the ducks connect to it, then when he's like his silly little duck thing, like, ah, my duck, and it does a backflip. That's a joke, right? We're supposed to laugh. But then when you see him be like, look at the autistic guy holding the duck, then you kind of get this point where you're like, oh, I... I just laughed at someone who's autistic. You see what I mean by it kind of makes the jokes harder to laugh at? When it's a lot easier when he's just quirky, you know what I mean? And even if you are somebody who has it and are okay with people laughing at these sort of situations, it's still for someone outside of it, it does make you feel like a dick when you do. Because you're just like, ah, oh, man, no. Uh, I don't want to do that. So that's what I think the problem with making him like canon that. So even though personally, I don't think he's autistic, to be fully honest with you. I just think he's a cartoon character. I don't really see anything wrong with believing this. Unlike the Alistair one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Your boy heard about the Alistair theory. Your boy be making people diddle his piss? Ooh! Anyways, I've only heard little bits and pieces, and then my chat on stream implored me that this is a shit post and it's not real and nobody really believes it. Now, there is a very good chance that they just told me that because they know if they told me that people believed it, I would deep dive and laugh very hard at it. They do know me very well. So uh, once I found out it was just a shit post, it was no longer fun anymore and I didn't care because it's just like, ah, eh, you're just writing something. Uh, if you didn't know, it's because he's a circus for one picture or one frame. And when, when Charlie's doing this, shh, that was his pee or something. It's only funny if people believe it. It's not real, though. It's just a shit post. It means nothing. And no one believes the theory, thus making it no longer fun. And I don't care anymore. Everything we just read about Lucifer tracks. Everything they wrote in their points that they brought up is legitimately something that you can connect to a theory. That's a good theory. The uh, the other one is the shit post because there's literally nothing connecting to it except a picture. Until I find out it doesn't, and then I'll dig deeper because it'll make me laugh very hard. But I'm going to have a hard time believing anyone actually believes it other than gullible children who read it. But I would like to hear your theory about the autism decision or discussion about making a character. Probably don't make the angel that damned all of humanity autistic. <laughs> That's all. I don't think that's a very good idea because the more I dig into it, it just gets worse and worse. But anyways, that that is all the comments today. Uh, I will be honest. This was this this these comments. <laughs> they are not what I expected uh, before I put out this episode. So, hey, that's what I love about it, because that's interesting to me. Actual interesting topics to talk about at the end. I hope People did not find my comments of the last one to be offensive. I am worried about that because I don't want people who are that to feel like I'm insulting them because I want that to be the last thing. Uh, I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable because of that. But So I hope nobody actually uh, got upset about that because I, I would legitimately feel bad. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you for the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.